Oh, hi. Uh, tech Rev here. So I thought we'd um, go over the um, power for the breadboards. Let's go take a look at that. So, anyway. So here we have the breadboard. And if you watched my previous video, I already went through the main topics around this. And um, here's this little mo very common regulator module. And what makes this unique is that it has actually um, four sets of pins that are in parallel. And um, what you can do with this is that you can plug it into the board like that. And so it gives power on two different rails. And then on the output side, so on the breadboard side, and you can actually choose uh, which voltage to use. And there's through logic low voltages, 3.3 uh, volts and 5 volts. So what you can do is you can either have um, like 5 volts and 3.3 volts, or then you can just move this to the, to the center like that, and then it's off. And then um, you can have uh, you can take the voltages, ground and voltage, both for the 5 volt and the 3.3 volt, out of here directly, so you can connect connect in. Um, a wire directly in here and then take it to directly to something. And then this is very useful, it has an on off switch. So you can put the power on and put it off and then you have a LED down there. And now you can feed this through diff two different ways. So you can put a, you can plug in a power supply here. And um, it depends a little bit on what manufacturer you buy these from, but I mean the, r the range of voltage is like up to maximum 9 volts or 12 volts, it depends. So you should check that when you order. And um, This is like a 5.5 millimeter, 2.5, or it can be actually a bit smaller also, and it will still work. Also good to check because the, the, this can also change a little bit, depending on what vendor you have. Uh, and then you have the possibility to food it, feed it through a USB cable also. So what I've been using is I've been using a battery power supply with these AA batteries. And this one has three batteries in it, so that's like four and a half volts. Not really technically enough to power five volt logic because you usually need like four point seven minimum, but um I also do have a, a battery pack with um, four um, AA batteries, so then you get high enough voltage. So then you get six volts, so then it's enough for the regulator, five volt regulator to work properly. And you can just plug it in there. And also I like these um, uh, battery um, boxes that have also an independent switch. So then you can just put it on and then you get feed on both. And then for the USB side, you can power it either from a um, wall-mounted, uh, you know, whatever USB power supply, you know, power outlet, you know, you know what I mean. So now the the issue usually is that it's very uncommon to have at home, at least, like uh, USB cables with with the USB Type A cable. Uh, plug on both ends. So usually you have micro USB or USB 3 uh, on, on type A, no type C, sorry, on this end. And I mean the USB standard is a complete mess when it comes to physical connection. But what I do is I use these adapters. So this is from uh, uh, USB 3 to USB A type connector. So then you can actually connect it into here and then oh. Power brick. So then I can plug it into the power brick. And then I can power it that way. So then you get the um, both 5 volts and 3.3. So anyway, just to comment on the fact that this is actually um, uh, limited to 
yeah, again, check what <laughs> manufacturer you order these from. But usually it's like um, uh, 0.7 amps, the maximum um, that you can pull out of one of these. So, um, you know, be, be careful you don't uh, overload it. So, that's the um, rundown on that. So anyway, that was a quick rundown on um, powering power for um, logic. So of course you can power other sort of analog circuits also, but I mean I call it power for logic circuits because it basically supports only two voltages, and that's 3.3 volts and 5 volts, and those are both for mainly logic circuits. Oh, anyway. So anyway, if you enjoyed this video, consider subscribing, hit the bell icon for more, um, tell other people that are interested in this, um, and. Um, See you in the next one.